Okay, folks, and today we have a really interesting thing on uh, <coughs> uh, your CPU chips that uh, AMD has released today. Um, get rid of that. Now, <coughs> this new chip is just absolutely a beast. Okay, guys. Now, I'm sitting here on a two-core um, Intel processor. It's old. I had to replace a three-core AMD, which... Yeah, I'm so, I wish I hadn't have done that, but you know what? AMD runs hot, and you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, you're asking yourself, well, what's so what's so beastie about this thing? What's so heavy duty? It has 64 Zen 2 cores in the leading 7 nanometer process technology. Which means it's the same size as your regular chips, it, but it's got this many cores. It's just wow. Okay. Now we're we're looking at this going, wow, that's interesting. Okay, you got all these little bits of now this is the this is where they give you some stats. And just to show you, if you were to let, let's just say I had seven thousand dollars to buy one of these and make a computer you know okay think about this okay if I multiply an 8 core system alright times 8 8 times 8 that's 64 look at the price 8 times let's say 600 is 4800 see what they're doing there they are adding an extra two thousand dollars onto the price of this just to make some extra money from rich people. They're sucking the money out of rich people for that. And they're preventing other people who might have, you know, money to do these things. Because, and you can do this. You could go, well, it gets worse as you get more expensive cores. Because what they're doing is they've been sued, both Intel and AMD, uh, AMD for, uh, or NVIDIA, for colluding on graphics card prices okay so what they do is they make the pricing kind of okay down here but then as you you climb up by the time you hit this 32 core it, it, it look at this so if i get a 32 core system right multiply that by two four thousand so thirty nine hundred twenty nine hundred almost three thousand extra dollars just just, just to have that, you're, you're better. You know what you're better off doing? Buying two PCs with 32 cores, and you will, you will definitely save money. You could be doing much more. Okay, so this is a little snipe at at AMD. Well, this looks really fantastic and everything. Okay, you basically have a supercomputer that you can put right out the door, right? Anything over 10 gigahertz is technically a supercomputer. So even this you know is a supercomputer all right that's what we're getting now compared to what we had 10 15 years ago which was one single core right um i think the benchmark for that needs to be risen to maybe 100 gigahertz or something or maybe a terra teraflop or some whatever but anyway yeah so uh, it's really uh it's really telling cuz you could do a, a times 4 here See, they overprice this one quite a bit. Because if it's, let's say, round that to a thousand, multiply that by four, you're still getting that twenty nine hundred difference. And that's that's a that's a thing, right? They add five hundred bucks to do what? Point two five gigahertz frequency. And 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 the wattage too. Like I mean, that's another point. You're going to be running a lot of power to do these things. Now that's where you'll lose, right? Like let's say I get uh, eight of these computers while I'm running uh, a kilowatt of power. That's that's the reason to save is that your your energy con conscious over time for your electricity bill. So they're they're what they're doing is they're they're overcharging you, okay, for for you to save on electricity. <laughs> Really nice of them, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. 
and and when you really think about it per core you're not getting any major differences in uh <coughs> you know the the actual gigahertz and and honestly to tell you the truth if i were to uh have say even this system it would literally make my compiling of uh, uh the uh, in the unreal engine four times faster literally okay it should it should bench out to three or four times faster especially for doing that that compiling of shaders okay like i sit people are you know wondering some days i'm like a flood everywhere all over youtube blah 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 i'm everywhere I'm everywhere and then i disappear for a few days kind of sort of it seems well that's because i'm doing things that I, I i can't even use my computer because i'm sitting there for you know half an hour going where something like this would cut that time down to like five minutes and then you know and, and the and the the more your workflow gets cut down like that the more you can actually keep learning keep doing things keep experimenting keep trying things out etc i would i would actually hazard to say that anything beyond this uh 16 core system right here is probably not the greatest value because even if i multiply this by a factor of three right all right so that'd be 1350 see it's the exact same price yet the one right after it 100 bucks less and then after that you got one that starts going stupid price now if i multiply this by a factor of four right 16 17 1800 right well the entry level there there's 200 bucks they're trying to scoop on you already and by the time you're at the top end of that one, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know. What they're doing is they price it in high because they know all the early adopters and rich rich people will and companies will buy into all this junk. And then, you know, because they want, ah, well, you know, I, they, they're just stupid, okay. I would, if I were a big company, I wouldn't be th even thinking about these chips. I'd be, I'd be down in this region here where, where you know you're getting the value, okay down in here this one here this 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 one here okay that's actually a better value right there that's the best value on this page right there okay per course and and the price and you know your wattage you're getting 3.35 per core blah 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 now <coughs> still if I had if I spent the same amount of money that I spent seven eight eight years seven or eight years ago on a pc today i would probably end up with something down in this line here you know somewhere's around here and i'd probably have a, a you know eight gigabyte graphics card you know so i would literally be doing five times as much <laughs> you know that's that's the whole point right and it, you know what really aggravates me is that you know back in 2012 uh, i had all kinds of investment and businesses willing to you know get get in with me to do stuff and warner brothers came out uh bringing in foreign temporary workers at less than minimum wage and they wonder why they they did so little business that that they had to sell themselves to at&t who's really not you know it's just a lovely another bunch of whatever's it's a good fit for them evil and e mr evil but anyway uh so yeah there, there's some more news and stuff like that there was uh uh somebody who made a little video about uh the area 51 and how people would just get slaughtered and 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 one thing to realize here is there is a solution it's really easy okay and it, re it requires before you get the gun you go see a psychiatrist, okay? Not just once either, okay? It's not just a one-off. Over the course of a month, you have to go once a week at your leisure, okay? There might be, you make like appointments, right? You can even have them on the weekend, let's say, so that you don't have your work bothered, right? And if you're okay, you're okay. And you're not going to fool those people either that you're, you're, uh, perfectly okay after, uh, over the course of that you, you, it's not going to happen very rare to happen let's put it that way that would really 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 
Now, and then, okay, because people go through things over time, let's say uh, once a year or every six months, you have to go for another one. And if you don't, okay, we give you like a 30-day period. And if you don't, then the police go down to your house and they will collect your weapon. If they don't find the weapon, they're going to look for you. Okay, and that's where it starts. Okay, end of story. I mean, <laughs> now, you don't need to be putting backdoors in encryption, Mr. Trump. You don't need to be putting uh, backdoors in the software. You don't need to be spying on people, okay, in their regular goings-ons. Okay, that, does, that, that is such a waste of money, okay, and taxes. And if you're in the, the conservative end, and on the other side, uh, if you're a lefty, the, 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 the sheer thought that somebody is always looking at you like a peeping Tom through the window, okay? And if you're a parent, that would be the same analogy, okay? Do you like the idea of someone peeking in on your kids' windows? I don't, okay? Because that's what they're advocating to do. And how do you trust these guys? Because every, every once in a while you hear about... Uh, you know, some general op in Russia partying with some strippers or something, or, you know, and you got President Trump who was running, uh, uh, what was that, uh, you know, the Miss Universe contest, and he's going around making comments about, you know, the ladies and everything, and, you know, you could go into Melania and, and his, uh, you know, relationship over the years, and, and look at Stormy Daniels. Like, these are the people that would be in charge of looking at your, your kids, what they're up to. And, and, and what what are kids doing with guns anyway? Okay. I thought the age for consent down there in the States was like 21 or something. Right? Now, mind you, this is going to... Uh, what, what, what that does, though, is the people that will be doing these things will be outside of all these purviews they won't be doing any of these checks. They won't be doing any of this. They'll be breaking into someone's house to try and take the, these weapons. So you need proper storage of the weapons. And it may come down to one day having these weapons stored at a place that's well guarded. Okay? You go pick up your gun. You go to the range. You shoot it. You, or if you're going off to some park where you can you're allowed to shoot these things or go hunting or something at a, at a hunting range or something that you have to tell people and they they have a route for you to go and you go that way you deviate you're in trouble I mean it's kind of it's kind of one of those things where you hey you get to, still get to have your gun and if you want to have your gun in your house and someone steals it and murders someone there should be a heavy duty charge for you okay because the alternative was to store it in a place where they wouldn't be able to get at it. You have to take responsibility for your actions. Okay, guys. All right. It's not saying you can't have a gun. It's not saying you can't do this or that. But the point is, is that uh, if you want to have them in your house, you got to be responsible if someone steals it too. Okay. Anyway. So that was just one little news thing. I always like to engage people like that because I understand both sides of it. Because, you know, the, the other point is, well, if someone breaks into your house with a gun to kill you or to rob you, what are you going to do? You know, you need to, if you had a gun, you could shoot at him and he might not rob you. Oh, okay. Well, what if he shoots you and then goes and takes your gun and then that gun gets used in killing 20 people, Right? Let's say you lived through your little sh shooting incident. Who's responsible? Whose gun was that? Yeah. So you got to look at these things. See, a lot of people get polarized on one side or the other. And they don't look at it from a, a, a logical view. It's kind of like this, uh, this five stabbing thing that happened in my area over the course of a seven day period. They didn't have any guns. They didn't have any internet either, Mr. Trump. And this is the point, okay? You know what happened after I made that video? Cops came down there hardcore the next day. The city, okay, passed a bylaw, and the federal government lady was down there too, to do and they uh, to help with this passing of the bylaw thing, and they 
move all the tent people out of there and um <coughs> yeah so what i say and, and that's a complete failure on government right there by tearing down a homeless shelter and not having people with any way to do anything here's the problem i have with all this to begin with these people had enough money go down to the the you know canadian tire and buy a tent that that tells me they had money what's going on there ha 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 you see there's a little problem there tents are not cheap eh so number one number two uh, you get people coming from all over the place suddenly to go there okay the third thing and oh, what was I gonna say the third part about that was okay so you have oh, I forgot what the point was still waking up but anyway yeah uh, about the guns and different things well they didn't have any internet they didn't have any guns okay and my solution to that because of the failure of government would have been hey call the federal government up we need some help here we need to have the army come in and help us build some temporary shelter places basically just make some get some crappy wood and build them uh you know a little little you know enough to shelter them from the what the, the conditions on the outside right put up a couple porta potties and you put a little miniature uh police station there and an ambulance place there and, and, and until that place is done the people who went from that shelter to there are the only ones allowed there okay and then you you have it dealt with so that after a time you find these people places to live okay that's what I'd have done. I'd have brought the army in and made them some little place on on the other side of the river where there's less less of a, a, an invasion of the downtown core. I mean, you don't you don't just plop a little tent city in the middle of it anywhere and just say, okay, no laws, no rules, go ahead, carry on, and and, and see what happens. Because look what happened. You get different types of people gathering in one little area with this little click and that little click and then suddenly the next thing you know they're all beating and fighting each other up i i guarantee you there was a, for considering there are five people stabbed there's probably about 50 fights down there guaranteed you know it's just like world war ii that's why i, I was sitting down there and then one once one old guy says to me in the thing and he says you know it's getting so bad around here I'm, people are gonna have to start carrying knives this is why do you think i'm wearing my dad's biker rings <laughs> <laughs> you know that right off the hop tells you one story right there so anyway yeah and then, I, and then a guy that had tried to jump me from behind one time when I was down there okay I saw him yesterday by himself walking by and he looked right at me and he took right off like you wouldn't believe well, yeah, what's wrong? Where are your other four little friends, eh? That's the kind of people these are, these are too. They won't even, they'll run away from you like little chickens when there's a, there's like one of them. When there's four or five of their ten of them, they, they think they're all tough, right? Yeah, that's the problem with it all. Anyway. And it's those kinds of people that are the ones that are going off firing guns and doing weird things and stabbing people and all this other jazz you know and, and you could be doing all kinds of other stuff legal or not and and be getting away with it and doing making money and and being totally under the radar instead you you you, you freaking idiots just idiots that's what happens when you let retards run things okay it's, that's all i gotta say it's the truth uh, anyway yeah so these are this is really a really 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 neat uh, thing about processors it's telling me where you know even the, the the smallest one there at eight cores with 16 threads would be huge huge increase <coughs> for me but again I need a graphics card that I'll probably spend that much and I'm gonna have to spend that much on a, uh, a CPU and that doesn't include the motherboard 
right? And then I'm going to have to put Windows 7 on it because I am not putting Windows 10 on it, which there's a trick to doing that with the Ryzen boards, okay? Don't let anybody tell you that you can't put Windows 7 on a PC properly, okay? Because that is a lie, all right? And Windows, they know it, okay? And there's 40% of all Windows users are... Uh, no, wait a minute, it was, yeah. There are more Windows 7 users than 10, Windows 10 users, just so you all know, okay? By all, there's different stats, they show different percents a little bit, but by and large, there's more, more Windows 7 users. Those are the smart Windows users. They're the ones that didn't get tricked into 10. And I'm, I'm gathering, I bet you, that a good percentage of those Windows 10 users probably wouldn't mind coming back to, to Windows 7 either. If, if Microsoft had a brain in its head, it would take back to the Windows 7 operating system and, and go with it. No, what Windows has planned for you all, and this is another reason why I'm staying with 7 until this thing dies, is because by the time Windows 7 is completely unsupported, every one of you Windows 10 users will be paying Microsoft monthly to make your operating system run. Don't pay, don't use it. They're just trying to find a way to snooker you all in on that and not have you not pay, you see. <laughs> because I, it, it's never been that way with Microsoft. You would pay your, uh, uh, buy your computer, it, Windows would be on it, that's it. When it goes to this subscription thing, it's like AM, uh, Adobe and Autodesk. They recently dropped their subscription prices by a factor of 10 okay for certain class of people but it's if you if, if you make under a hundred thousand dollars that they dropped it by a factor of 10 that's still three four hundred dollars a month like come on here now you know like screw off that's that's stupid that, that's why people are looking to Blender now. That's why people are looking to DaVinci Resolve. That's why people are looking at other softwares. Okay? It's because this greed, because that's all it is, guys. The, the number of changes between these versions of software doesn't really, you know, equivocate the amount of development that's going on here. These companies have had a really sweet run. It's over. Okay? It's over. All right? Windows 10, like they said, is the last operating system for Windows. And it will be. <laughs> as soon as they, they push everybody to a subscription, it's over. They're already trying to do that for enterprise users, right? And they're, they're trying to uh, curtail people into, you know, paying extra, okay, basically, so that you don't have all this telemetry and everything else in it. Well, you know what? No. Not going to work, man. Anyway. So, little bits of news all around there for other things and stuff like that. I just get my brain out of the way and then I can get into some gaming and have some fun and watch some of the other guys' streams and enjoy their stuff too. Everybody should always speak their mind though, you know, on issues and stuff like that. Do it on a page like this where you bring up something in your local area or some... Do something like that, you know. It can be some positive news too, you know. Like where I live, there's a lot of uh, community stuff where there's... Uh, oh, different events and everything else. It's not just... It's just... You know, it's the shocking stuff that gets views and hits and traffic and everything else. So people get, even even I got kind of lured in. Well, maybe I'll see if I can find more of this kind of thing. And I thought, no, this is this is not what I am and what I do. I'm about because it's you you. I then become just as bad as the rest of them, right? You know, I'm not here to. to, to I'm just. It's just eh, this. I, this is why this is a good positive little story, this one here. But it, it's, I, I just noticed when I was looking at pricing on things, right, that uh, there's a bit of a discrepancy between, you know, if I multiply the, uh, this by a factor of 8, right, and this, I get 32 through 3,400. 3, it's literally ha twice as expensive, okay? <laughs> like, uh, so... 
if I had thirty four hundred and fifty dollars, could I buy could I manu could I put together eight computers to emulate this and just network them together with some cables? You would lose this would outdo you, yeah. But in a cluster, would I be able to get, you know, enough value back? Even if you bought like uh instead of putting what? Eight times eight. So you need eight computers? Uh, so you buy six, right? Or four. You could even buy four of them. Even if I bought two, right? <coughs> At this price, you know? In and around here. See, like, here, here's the kicker, too, that you got to look at. See, the base frequency is 2.25, right? Look at this. 3 gigahertz. Right? See, what they're doing is they're, they're internally overclocking these a little bit as a base speed right so that the lifespan isn't quite as much and that's one thing to remember is that if you really really dig down into this stuff and you wonder why why is that base frequency so low well that would be because they would run it at that frequency but they would be running it a lot more okay right so they they, they wouldn't boost it although they could right and there's a couple of them that have these boost speeds, right? So it seems like with this architecture, they've reached this 3.4 is, is, is the maximum, okay? Like, look at how much they've just come out with here. I got to admit, though, with the trade war going on, AMD is the one you want to go with as well. That's another point to make. And you're probably going to see AMD processors in your consoles and stuff, but AMD, like I said... If Microsoft says, okay, well, we were going to put, uh, uh, let's say, let's say Microsoft was going to put this one in here. Well, or wait, uh, let's see here. They were going to put this chip in here, right? But on the Intel side, which might have been two, uh, $200 cheaper, right? Well, now it's going to be 650 This is what I mean by how things can end up costing more. Because sometimes AMD stuff does cost a bit more. I haven't looked at Intel to see compare comparisons but uh, 64 cores <laughs> oh you know wow you thought 16 was a lot anyway I'll let you guys go and have some fun and be safe and have some fun playing your games take care <laughs>